Is this too deep? How about this? Now let's dive straight into this. What a, sorry. We gotta stop with these bad puns. It's not even funny at this point. Uh, what is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking water depth. So I always get so many questions about how deep should the water be for my hatchling turtle? Should I fill the water all the way up? Should my musk turtle be like in four inches of water or 10 inches of water? How much water do I need to have in this tank so that my turtle can be at a comfortable depth for swimming? So the bare minimum you're gonna wanna follow here is make the water at least twice as deep as the turtle is long. So if you have a four inch turtle, the water should be at least eight inches. If you have a tiny little one inch turtle, you should have at least two inches of water in there. That's to make sure that if your turtle somehow flips itself over on a decoration or something, it's able to right itself, get oxygen and not drown. So that's kind of the general guideline, but the best way to figure out water depth for your turtle species is looking at their species' natural environment and also their physical characteristics, kind of what they're built for. So for instance, sliders and painted turtles, they live in all kinds of freshwater bodies of water, ponds, lakes, you name it. And for the most part, they will use the whole range of water depth provided to them in those spaces. You'll find sliders swimming in the middle of the lake and you'll find them basking at the on the edge and so they're very strong swimmers and if you look at painted turtles and slider turtles even map turtles you'll see that they are a more free swimming species just by the nature of their build and their makeup so for instance you'll see that their shell is more streamlined they're found basking more frequently and they have a greater control over their buoyancy if you have an adult slider painted map turtle anything that is of the amididae family essentially you'll be golden at pretty much any water depth because the turtles are strong enough and can make it to the surface of the water without any issues. And this is partially due to their control of their buoyancy. Now, turtles control their buoyancy through the amount of air in their lungs. And so by either releasing air or taking air in, they can actually regulate how dense they are in relation to the water, thus allowing them to swim at the top of the tank, the bottom of the tank, or the middle of the tank. Now, contrast this with musk and mud turtles. They kind of have a more dome-like shape to them, and you'll notice in their behavior that they spend a lot more time walking along the bottom of the tank, exploring the bottom of the tank. In fact, there was actually some research done that showed that Sternotheris, the musk turtle, actually has a higher specific gravity than that of the painted turtle, meaning that musk turtles themselves as a species are more dense in relation to water than painted turtles. So basically that means that if you had a rock and a feather, the rock is more dense, so the rock is gonna sink faster, or the rock is gonna fall faster. Gravity, it's science. And so because these mud turtles and musk turtles have a higher density, it takes more energy for them to actually swim up to the surface of the water because they're fighting against more gravity essentially. Hopefully that makes some sense. And so because of these characteristics, they're not as good swimmers as other turtles. And this is reflected in their natural habitat. You'll see that mud and musk turtles will often inhabit shallower water. So keeping all this information in mind, what is the best depth for my turtle? What is the best depth for your turtle? There's actually a couple more variables to think about here, and that is the size and the age of your turtle. The smaller and younger your turtle is, the more likely it has muscles that are not completely developed and it's not gonna be as good of a swimmer. I mean, if you look at babies learning to walk, this is self-evident. Younger and smaller typically means more clumsy. So if you have a younger turtle, you're gonna want your water depth to be lower. Whereas if you have an older turtle, that water depth can likely be increased because they've developed those muscles and know how to navigate their environment better. Okay, so now we're armed with all this information. We know what our turtle species is used to in the wild and we also know, okay, if they're younger or older and can adjust our depth accordingly. What is the magic depth? That is something that I cannot tell you. I'm not gonna sit here and say, okay, a slider turtle needs 18 inches of water and a musk turtle needs eight inches, okay? It doesn't really work like that. In the wild, a pond can be 10 feet deep. It can be two feet deep. And so turtles can adapt to these things. In my opinion, the most important thing is just making sure that they're comfortable in that environment. You just wanna make sure they're not struggling to get to the surface of the water. Now you can do this by keeping the water level low if they are a poorer swimmer, or by providing decorations so that they can rest as they make their way to the top of the tank. 
So for instance, this tank behind me has my musk turtles. They're pretty small little guys. I'd say between two and three inches. And as you can see, I've drained the tank so that it's about five inches from the top. And the water depth here is, I think it's in between 15 to 18 inches of water depth. Now, some people would say that's way too deep for a musk turtle. But as you can see, there's a lot of decorations in here reaching to the surface of the tank so that they can rest on their way up. And I've noticed that they use a lot of this space. But for the most part, they tend to walk along the bottom and then swim to the water surface. The other thing to think about water depth is that it's gonna directly affect your water volume, i.e. the amount of gallons or liters of water that you have in your tank. And the less water you have, the quicker it's gonna get dirty because there's less water to dilute the waste, the poop, the uneaten food that your turtle is leaving behind. That's one of the main reasons I decided to fill this tank as high as I did in order to keep it cleaner because we have quite a few turtles in here. So that's the most important thing for me is just making sure the turtle is not struggling in its environment and that it's comfortable in its environment. Now I wanna include this last example because I see it a lot in my comments and it's what if I, you know, rescue a slider turtle or something that's only been living in four inches of water for its whole life? Do I just throw it into a bunch of deep water so it can have more space to swim or is it gonna stress it out? What should I do? My advice here is gradually raising the water volume inch by inch until you're at a level where the turtle has enough space to swim and where it's comfortable. This is because if a turtle has been used to living in only four inches of water, its muscles may not be developed enough to have the strength to swim as much as it would need to in a deeper water tank. So you wanna gradually build that up. I'd say an inch or two a week. You kind of just monitor and see how the turtle is doing. And once they seem comfortable in that water depth, you are gonna wanna raise it a little bit more until you're at the level that you want to be. So those are my thoughts on turtle water depth. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.